Hi there, it's Moira McDonald. Um, i got a jump journal to do a walkthrough with. It's um, made from a repurposed book. The book itself is from 1961 and I think is kind of like a Reader's Digest book, but it was a different thing if you know what I mean. It's It wasn't Reader's Digest, it was an, another company that obviously did books along the same lines as Reader's Digest. So anyway, it's, um, it was a blue book and it, it certainly shows signs of age. What I did was I added to the spine um, a piece of blue floral fabric and added a band of lace at the front and the back. Um, it's got a hidden spine so uh, there's a wee bit of cheesecloth up the top and a wee bit down the bottom. I've used sari silk as a closure. The book itself isn't um, completely and utterly chock-a-block the way I normally do. Bear with me, I'm just going to adjust this a wee bit to see if I can get this in a bit better. Um, I, d uh, I just thought, you know, why not actually let you make the journal for yourself once you've got it. Right, in terms of size, I would say that's roughly five inches that way and up and down is maybe about just over seven and a quarter. Um, it's not fancy on the inside like, you know, sometimes you see books and folk have done really fancy bindings and whatever. Um, it's it's not. It's It truly is a junk journal in the sense of junk journals. This is scrapbooking paper um, which is lined the inside of the front and back pages. Uh, first thing I've got is an envelope that I made a while back. I think there's actually a tutorial of me making the envelope. Um, I had started do, I, I did a tutorial of how to decorate these envelopes. It's made from an Edith Holden page. Um, and while I was making that video, I kept getting interrupted. So I ended up had three envelopes that were partially made, but videos that I couldn't show because, you know, dogs were either going absolutely bananas in the back or folk were walking in saying, is that the kettle already? Um, so uh, this is one of the envelopes that I made that day. It's book page from Edith Holden. That's a panel from... Tim Holt's scrapbook and paper in the back. There is nothing in the envelope at the moment. I've left that empty for whoever takes the book. Um, there's a decoupage napkin and a couple of different laces on it. Uh, down the bottom I've got a bit of burlap and another wee lace banner and I uh, cut out a wee stamped piece of card that says Believe in Magic. The theme of this book is uh, flowers and fairies or flower fairies but I don't want to say that so flowers and fairies um, and you can have a look and see what you think stamped at the top here and this is a vellum sticker of a flower over the page I have taken an old book page and stamped it I think these fairy stamps they come from a, a couple of sources but I think that's a Lavinia stamp uh, that's L-A-V-I-N-I-A Lavinia stamps it's a British stamp company and she does a lot of sort of fairy and fancy type stuff stamped at the top here down the bottom I have a sort of acetate printed uh, butterfly that my lovely friend Cheryl Stark had sent me hello Cheryl, thank you very much um, over the page here I have uh, you'll see it's tea and coffee stained throughout. Can't remember. Some pages will be tea stained, some pages will be coffee stained. I stamped out a little, um, it's kind of like toadstools or whatever, or mushrooms, whatever you want to call them. Fungi, whichever way you look at it. And um, then I uh, just die cut round about it and stuck it on the page. Here I've got a floral vellum sticker. Uh, this is a page from the Flower Fairies in the Spring Book and another vellum sticker of a butterfly down the bottom. This is a um, piece of scrapbooking paper and there is a decorated paper clip in it. Uh, this particular one, um, some of the scrapbooking paper, what I did was I actually folded it over so you would be able to put something in there and use the clip if you wanted to uh, or you could just use it for a picture. Now the clip itself, it's a um, Cheryl you'd been asking me about um, decorated paper clips. It's a paper clip, I 
cut using a banner punch from Stampin' Up. Hello Lisa, Lisa is my Stampin' Up representative, Lisa Owen. Um, I have a sort of perpetual calendar stamp on it and it is just a, basically a wee banner and I've put a paper clip in it and that's in there to hold that page shut along with anything you might put on that page. Um, piece I at home here for January. Here uh, is one of those uh, Tim Holtz, I don't, I don't, I can't even remember what they're called. It's some sort of wee tuck thing with wee slots. Uh, used paper that looks like slats of wood. Another wee perpetual calendar there. Um, that's from, uh, I got some stamps recently, I can't remember the name of the company. I got it second hand on eBay and basically they're, they're for journaling. So it's just stamped for you to write on uh, with whatever information. And the die cut heart, um, you'll have seen I did a video quite recently of a uh, decorated heart tag, and that's just a couple of hearts I've got left. We live in your stamp fairy up top there. Over the page, another one of these, and this is stamped with um, uh, stamping up stamp of slatted wood. Uh, these are vellum stickers that I have stuck to card for you to journal on the back of and they just basically look like tickets. Quite good. And this is just a wee image of birds that I had printed out when I was playing with my printer the other day. I was having a bit of a fight with the printer trying to uh, work it wirelessly. It had been a wee while since I'd last done it so it had, you know that way things forget what the internet connection is. So that was corrected and that was one of the things I printed while I was playing with it. Scrapbooking paper here that I have cut as a, a file folder, mini file folder. This is a page from one of the Flower Fairy books, I just die cut the fairy. Here I've got another decorated paper clip. Uh, this time I used uh, circles. Uh, you'll know I'm kind of circle obsessed at the moment. I just used the circle, I stamped it with wee fairy stamp and watercoloured it because I quite like doing watercolouring. Uh, so I'm quite pleased with the way that came out. There's, a, there's another couple of those in the book. A tree stamped on a piece of music paper down the bottom here. Wee vellum floral sticker, page from the flower fairy book. And another vellum sticker here. Uh, this one doesn't have anything in it, but again, um, you, you know, there's no point in me filling a book with things when you could be putting little memories of your own in them. A little sort of toadstool stamp up the top there, doily. Toadstool down here that I've coloured in, watercoloured again. And that's on music paper. Uh, we fair in music paper there. Another one of the scrapbooking pages and I uh, die cut, no, I didn't die cut it, I cut it in the shape of a tag. Um, it forms the centre, there's not really a lot I can say about it. Uh, another one of Cheryl's nice stickers up here and a wee fairy here again. Uh, vellum sticker of a fairy and it actually does look like one of the flower fairies. I don't know if it is, it certainly wasn't one of the ones that was in the spring book that I had. So. Uh, I don't know, but it looks very similar to the drawing. Um, doily, another wee fairy up top there. Uh, here's another one of the banners that I made using the banner punch I got from Stampin' Up. Um, again, it can be used as a tuck if you've got something you want to shove under it. I think at the moment I've got a vellum photo, something like that. Book from the Flower Fairy book. The page runner and Daisy starts just on cue. Uh, we fairy down the bottom. Another picture from the Flower Fairy book. Um, I made this in one of my videos. It was a kind of what, what is it they called? It's one of the time cards, and I made it into a wee pocket. And it's got a wee heart, and all the dogs have gone mental now. Now, what time is that? I know I've got a delivery coming this afternoon, but I think it's a bit early for the delivery. 
hopefully my brother's going to get the door. Um, what do you want to call it? Ledger paper. Another piece of scrapbooking paper and I die cut it as a file folder. Little fairy up top there on music. Another Edith Holden page. Another one of my fairies. This is actually, when I was doing that um, tutorial or whatever you want to call it, the, the sort of craft with me type thing the other day about the distress ink, this has, I have actually splashed this with water. This is one of the things I was mentioning. Um, Tim Holtz is obsessed with splashing, you know, the things he's distressed with water because obviously it's meant to look more distressed, I'm assuming. So I did it with that one just to let you see what it looks like. So those kind of white dots are splashes of water. Another wee fairy there, and vellum sticker. And vellum sticker here, and that's the end of the first signature. Second signature, I've got a wee snail that I watercolored. Make a wish. And a wee vellum sticker down the bottom there. Picture from the Flower Fairy book, and a piece of the uh, Another one of my wee tags. This one is a wee mushroom that I watercolored. Looks like a wee house. And die cut that with an oval shaped die. Another wee fairy there. Vellum sticker. Wee fairy. Wee bird cage. Vellum sticker. Um, piece of fancy washi with uh, music paper. Um, not music, what am I talking about? Decorated with flowers and it's. Um, I need to pick up a wee bit closer. It's a smile is the most charming part of a person forever. Um, a person who truly loves you will never let you go, no matter how hard the situation is. And I oh, very good. Um, it's funny I know a lot of folk when I was younger never had any bother letting go of me. Uh, I've got to assume they didn't really love me. Here I've got just some birds on a wire. Uh, another wee vellum sticker or kind of like a scroll. This page is distressed for all its dear life. Ledger paper. Wee fairy on a branch there. A couple of butterflies. That's the centre of the next signature. Uh, it's a five hole pamphlet stitch by the way. Um, another one of my wee uh, paper clips that I stamped and coloured in with watercolour and a distress round the edge. Um, I had about 40 goes at that wee lassie by the way. Uh, one of the times I managed to make a right poo poo uh, stamping her out and her feet were all, you know, she, she looked like the flash. She was a blur basically. Um, and then I, I did her, <laughs> I just, I thought, I'll give her a little pink tongue. Uh, yeah, so I will. She looked as if she'd smeared her lipstick all over her face. So I had another go and eventually got her. That's another piece of that washi tape there. Yeah. Yeah, that's about positive attitude and confidence and a smile. and It's contagious and all that kind of stuff. Uh, here I've got another one of those Tim Holtz pockets. And I got some second-hand Stampin' Up! stamps the other day. I think they were meant to be London themed. And I don't know that whoever it was that designed them must have had something really bizarre going through their head, right? They did a phone box, which is fair enough, because it does look kind of vintage -y to some extent. Um, by the way, the, the, the numbers at the bottom come from another stamp. I did some stamp masking to do that. I'll maybe do a tutorial on that at some point. Um, one of the other stamps was a penny farthing, which is one of those bikes with a big wheel and a wee wheel. Uh, and then there was... A, the big wheel that's in London for the millennium, or it was in it for the millennium, but I think it's still there. And I thought, it, 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 it's, just, it's a bit in Congress having the penny farthing and the big wheel, you know, I mean, they're really two different uh, centuries. But there you go. Anyway, uh, Tim Holtz ticket, and another one of those, uh, what do you want to call it? Journaling spaces. Uh, this is a tag I made this the other day, I think, in video, and it's from an old piece of, um, what do you want to call it, 
uh, one of the food boxes I've got. Fire fairy. Another one of these scrolls in vellum. And some more old music paper. All or nothing, now or never. Fall in love. Oh. I'm the least romantic person you could ever meet by me. Oh, there's the penny farthing from that set of stamps. And another Tim Holtz ticket. A little corrugated card ticket. And a perpetual calendar. And this is the pocket that stamped to show distress stamping the other day. Uh, doily, vellum sticker. Tuck spot here with an envelope and it's another, it's, it wasn't actually the day that I did all the envelopes but it was um, another day. It's a piece of Fanny Robinson book and it's got some decoupaged napkins on it. I think it might have been in the video for the decoupage and a piece of lace and cheesecloth in the bottom with spread your lines. That's a floral vellum sticker. We bird that, that when I was doing the printing the other day with the printer and I printed a page with birds on it so I put it in there. Uh, that's an anatomical heart with some flowers. Uh, and that's the end of the book. So that's it. Um, hope you like it and you can maybe let me know what you think. I, I, I think it's a little bit different from what I normally do and as far as it's not nearly as uh, decorated as usual. But it still smacks of Moira. So there you go. Thanks very much for your time today. I shall see you all again soon. Uh, no plans to do another journal but I might do some tutorials on stamping and the likes. So I'll see you all again soon. Bye guys, bye.